Hello and welcome to Zombie Bite. Zombie Bite. <laughs> A show that you, yourself, will name in the future. Because Zombie Bite's not a very good name. What's a good name for a zombie show? Think about it. Alright, we're going to cover, uh, cover a couple of things. This is kind of zombie preparedness. And uh, we'll, get, we'll cover some basics. Uh, what kind of weapon, what kind of weapon are you going to want in the, in the upcoming zombie apocalypse? Um, name five. Don't name more than five. Uh, maybe just name one. But, you know, feel free to name up to, up to five. We'll, we'll judge them. And we'll, we'll share information. We'll pull information. Maybe the weapon you choose wouldn't be the one I choose, but I like the fact that you'll have it. And so we'll meet at the place. You'll have yours and I'll have mine. Uh, oh, uh, supplies. Uh, what's important to have during the zombie apocalypse? Um, it seems like water is a must. Um, but really, over the long period of time, you're not going to—you're not going to really carry an epic amount of water. Um, so you're probably going to want to be near it. Yeah. So what else? What else will you have? You know, could you, could you tell me what you're going to have? What are your supplies? Um, hideout. You know, staying home going to be the right idea. Going to work actually. Maybe you know you're already used to working as a team. Everyone knows one another, and you know, kind of you know, intimately familiar perhaps over the years, perhaps that's a good idea. Um, you know, where else, where else are you going to go? I don't know, you tell me. Uh, Alright, people. I mentioned workmates, but let's just say you could just pick anybody. Uh, you know, like maybe five hypothetical people, like you're going to want a doctor, a soldier, uh, an engineer, um, a stripper, um, and a stripper. Um, you know, maybe someone out of fantasy, maybe someone you know, out of movies, maybe someone out of books, you know. You tell me. That's what I'm saying. Alright, uh, oh, what have we learned from the movies? What's a good example of what you do in a movie where it's been, uh, you know, portrayed as in a zombie movie? What, if, what, if, what kind of zombie movie has taught us something excellent? And uh, what kind of zombie movie has taught us something that you probably shouldn't do? A movie do's and don'ts. You seen a zombie movie? You know what I'm talking about. Oh, show and tell. Do you have anything in particular uh, that might be good in the zombie apocalypse? Um, for instance, uh, here, uh, <laughs> like uh, you know, the watch. The watch might be an excellent thing for the zombie apocalypse. Uh, you know, set up uh, set up uh, meats, for instance. Um, realize uh, you could you know. You, know, you could compute, uh, <laughs> I don't know, maybe that's a bad example. It could be a tourniquet. <laughs> oh, I don't know. You know, you tell me, I don't know. I haven't been in a zombie apocalypse yet. And what's, what's, what's your must-have item? Show it to me. That's probably going to have to be a video response. Uh, but you could tell it to me. It's show or tell, let's say. Not show and tell. Oh, slogan. What would be like? What would be a good slogan? You know how like they have, uh, like if you're a carpenter, they always say uh, measure twice and cut once. Um, you know that's a good thing to remember. It sticks in your head, and then when you're on the job site, um, oh, you're like, oh, I'm just gonna go ahead and measure that again. Uh, but what kind of slogans would you want for the zombie apocalypse? You know, to kind of teach everybody, um, you know, what are, what do you say? For instance, you might say. Uh, Remember, for every two zombies you kill in front of you, there's one right behind you. For every two in front, there's one in the back. <laughs> it, just, it just gives you aware to, uh, you know, always check your six. Don't get all, don't get all focused. All right, so uh, let's we'll cover. Uh, so those are the topics. Uh, name of the show. What's a good name? Is Zombie Bite a good name? No, it's a terrible name. What would you call it? Um, what are we talking about? Weapons, supplies, hideout, people, and then like a special category, something that I didn't uh, name. We have weapons, supplies, uh, what is it again? Hideout, people, and what else? Mystery topic. What do you want to introduce into the zombie discussion? Uh, movies, do's and don'ts, show and tell, or uh, 
show or tell, and uh, a slogan. For every two in front, there's one right behind you.